hottest bidding wars in Hollywood has been happening over the past couple of days for the rights to the new book of David Gran, Killers of the Flower Moon, An American Crime and the Birth of the FBI. According to the rap, Leonardo DiCaprio, director J.J. Abrams, and Oscar-winning screenwriter Eric Roth are teaming up with Paramount Studios to adapt the book into a movie. The story about the mysterious murders of the Osage Indians tribe in Oklahoma, with the case being turned over to the newly formed FBI, has now reached a reported $2 million to secure the rights. Other bidders include George Clooney, who would direct with Amy Pascal producing. As of this report, no deal has been reached. Josh, thoughts on this potential DiCaprio and J.J. Abrams team up? I mean, that's sort of a dream scenario. It's one of those kind of team ups we've been waiting for and we haven't really seen uh, at all yet. So. And, and, you know, Leo, what he did for Native Americans and Revenant wasn't a lot, but it showed a cool little part of Americana that a lot of people try and sweep under the rug because it was one of the greatest tragedies that this country has ever partaken in. And he said something about it at the Oscars and he said something about it at the Golden Globes. And obviously this is something he's passionate about. So if, if he's passionate about it, obviously George and Brad Pitt have to come and be passionate about it as well. The, you know, the, the three amigos and in, in doing these awesome, huge movies, you get JJ Abrams involved, you know, it's going to be a visual spectacle and you know, it's probably going to be done right. That being said, I love anything that we can go back and look at uh, Americana that we haven't seen before. I know we've done a lot of FBI stories that haven't been the best, and we've done a lot of Native American stories that haven't been the best since probably Dancing with Wolves. So that being said, put Leo in this again. I'd love to see something about this kind of thing. Trail of Tears hasn't been done yet. Yeah, I'd like to. I'm excited about this team up as well. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio obviously hot off his Oscar for The Revenant. J.J. Abrams off you know, domestically the biggest movie ever. What's most interesting to me, though, is J.J. Abrams directing this type of movie. We haven't seen him direct that type of movie before. He's directed sci-fi epics like Star Wars and Star Trek, uh, even his own Super 8. We had him do Mission Impossible 3, a crime drama. This is kind of out of his wheelhouse, and I want to see how he, he takes it. Like, we haven't seen him do something like this before. Christian? We haven't seen him do something like this before in film. Yeah. Because Alias had a bit of a... Uh, yeah, it was too wacky, It was though. wacky. That was <laughs> wacky, man. But even even there was there were times in Lost, and I know that, you know, he, he was producing a lot of that more, and, and some of it not even involved yeah. in it, but we know that he's familiar with that tone, even with him producing 10 Cloverfield lane and things of that nature it's still sci-fi whatnot but like they can get to this he can hit drama you know and he could and working i think what the the key thing though is leonardo dicaprio because yeah. i've said this before when we're talking about whether or not he's going to direct and he said he's not really something he's into right now the guy is one of the best producers out there right now so for him to team up with jj abrams that is really that that's something special now the story, though, is just to be it's so the other they're not with Clooney. And, no, and no, no, they're no, competing, they're against, they're competing Clooney against it. Against. Uh, that to me, it's like that's fascinating because mm -hmm. off of your point is that so both these powerhouse producer teams slash movie stars are going after this thing. And DiCaprio's kind of gone after uh, an attempt at this with, with Hoover, and that didn't work too well. <laughs> yeah. So um, maybe this is kind of his redemption to do this all over. J. Edgar. Yeah, I said Hoover. The movie wasn't called Hoover. No, I know, but it was about Hoover. <laughs> I know, I know it was. But it was, right. what was his last name? Hoover. Right, thanks. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.